recording. Okay, I'm recording. So this is Chester. Um, the owner sent me a picture uh, today and uh, cons had a few questions. Um, Chester went to, uh, was tack trim, got really sound, and then had a four or five min months off um, where he wasn't tack trimmed. And so he regressed a little bit, uh, but we're back tack trimming him and he is, uh, we're gonna, we'll get him back, but he's just dealing with some issues right now. So the question was the circled area right here that the owner sent me and she, her question was, is this bruising? And yes, it is bruising. Now, unfortunately, I have tried to edit this picture on the right. This was, um, this picture here was in April. If I can write that out. First, uh, April 23rd, and this one is May uh, 5th, I think. So this one's May, we'll say this is May. Okay. So in April, after I trimmed them, um, if you were to look at this, I can tell right now, here are his bars. And the bars go down here. They grow, they grow from right down in here. Okay. And you can see how this bar is leaning over more to the outside versus this bar is more standing up. Not that this one's totally right, but this bar is leaning over. This bar is leaning over because this hoof capsule is bowed out or bulged out or flared out. Okay. So um, the bar leans out because the capsule is not holding things in. And as a result, the bar will collide in or put pressure in on the sole or grow or be over top of the sole. And yes, that is bruising. So what I would do is take your knife and I would start down here and I would clean out this area right here. That's what I would do. Okay. So clean out that area to help him um, with that bruising. So I'm gonna just undo. I'm sure there's a faster way to do that. Okay, so um, that's what I saw here. The rest, what I'm seeing in here, this looks like his soul trying to release to me, little, you know, kind of spots. You could just kind of rub your, uh, or, or uh, put your knife uh, smoothly over these regions and see if that soul wants to come off. We especially see it uh, more broken up in this region here. That looks like a little piece right there. And that makes sense because this area of the capsule needs to come back and in, okay? Because it's flared out. So uh, this sole will release because we put pressure on it to do that. Okay? I do notice, I want um, just to check to see if this capsule right here looks like it's above the sole. So remember in the quarters, actually all the way up to here, we want to take that rasp and lay it flat and take that capsule off to the sole and then do a, a slight bevel so that he can keep moving. Okay, so that's for that uh, foot. The next one is we're looking at again the same idea here. We have a May and this is April. This one's a little bit better. This is the one that had the abscess and I cleaned out. He lost a great big piece of sole here, which actually was interesting because it, it balanced him up from previous pictures. He's much more when we look at his center line. Okay. He's much more symmetrical on both sides than he was before the um, abscess. And so if I look over here, the question was, what's this right here? Well, that is the end of his bar. 
you can see his bar is um, down here. I, I trimmed some off here. Okay. Trimmed off his bar. So that's bar you're seeing. And, and if this is elevated, I can't really tell. If this is elevated, you'd want to release this. Okay. This connection here, the end of the bars, which are a hoof capsule that comes around, okay, is where your uh, soft tissue, cough and bone interaction happens within the internal foot. So as the foot unbinds and releases out the back and the heels grow, you can see some changes here. But yeah, I would help them with this and, and smooth that out. That would be, uh, looks like bar material. But I was actually more concerned about this. So I see a little bit of a lip in there that is um, from his, that sole that he sloughed off. This sole looks uh, good. But if any, if you got any edges, even edges up here, like what's that right there? You know, does that need to, is that kind of more sole coming off that you need to remove that? Because if you have little edges where the microorganisms can get underneath, because this is compromised right now, especially at the edges, that you'd want to remove that so that the microorganisms can't um, grow in there and, and then start uh, degrading the sole. So that's what I see. Um, he is still hanging on to his soul. His soul is attached to his dorsal wall. He's ouchy. He's ouchy because his soul is stretched this way because his, he's long on the toe. And it, uh, his heels are underrun. And the combination of those two make his, his soul thin. So his soul is thin and it's like, uh, you know, we wear shoes all the time and then we take our shoes and socks off when we go and we walk on stones. It's going to be ouchy. So um, that's the best kind of comparison I can have to it. So that's where he's at. Okay, that's all I was going to talk about. And... Yeah, if you have any more questions, send me a message, send me some pictures and I can do another um, video or a stream and uh, help you out.